Hi, I'm Nadine and welcome to Staples Tech TV. So, you just got a new e-reader and you want to know how to load it up with the e-books, where to purchase them, and how to get some free books as well. Look no further, here is a how-to for you. First, how do we get our e-books onto our e-reader? First thing you need to do is create an account, enter your contact details and credit card information before you can download ebooks. After that, there are three ways to get ebooks onto your e-reader. For this episode, we're featuring the Kindle 3G, but most of it applies to other models as well, such as the Kobo and Sony Reader. The first way to download ebooks is by accessing your e-reader's built-in store via Wi-Fi. To do this, you need to log into your Wi-Fi network from your e-reader via the settings area. From there, navigate to your ebook store, find a book, and select it to download. The second way is by accessing your ebook store via 3G, if your e-reader has 3G capabilities, such as the Kindle 3G. You should already be connected. 3G access is great because you can download books on the go, wherever there's 3G coverage. Perfect if you're constantly traveling or aren't near any available Wi-Fi networks. To purchase and download ebooks, simply follow the same steps as before. The only difference is that you can get your ebook fix practically anywhere. The third way to get your ebook on is to drag and drop via USB. If you have ebooks on your computer already, downloaded from an ebook web store such as Amazon.com, Sony Rear Store, or the Kobo ebook store, you can get them onto your e-reader via USB. Simply plug your e-reader to your computer via USB cable and the e-reader will show up as a hard drive. Find the book that you want and simply drag and drop it onto the appropriate folder on your e-reader. Bear in mind, the e-book needs to be in the correct format for your respective e-reader. If you find e-books in a format you, that your e-reader doesn't necessarily support, you may be able to access them by downloading and using an ebook management program such as the Free Calibre, which will convert the ebook into the proper format before publishing it to your e-reader via USB. Psst. Looking for some free ebooks? Well, here are two ways to download ebooks for free. The first is library lending programs. Many public libraries and university libraries have a web presence, but require a locally obtained library card or student ID to use the web facilities to actually check out books. This is because rights to the ebooks are purchased using local tax dollars. Many of the libraries use a DRM system with time limited licenses, so you don't need to return the books to your library. Instead, it'll just expire unless you check it out again. Libraries generally own a limited number of licenses per book and manage them exactly like a physical library. So, once the number of licenses has been used by customers, they won't let you check out a copy until someone else's license expires or is returned. The big advantage of libraries is that once you have a library card, you can do everything from your computer at home or anywhere you have internet access. Most libraries tend to lend out ebooks via Overdrive, a lending full service digital distributor of ebooks, audiobooks, and other digital content. Kindle users, however, still can't get ebooks from Canadian libraries yet, as they are only available in the US. Hopefully, that will change soon, though, as of December 2011, official sources were still mum on the topic. Aside from library lending, you can also find free ebooks to keep forever. <laughs> Many of the e-reader stores offer free ebooks for you to download. Some are time-limited specials, free samples, or simply up-and-coming authors looking to get noticed. Many others are courtesy of Project Gutenberg, which offers over 36,000 ebooks that are free to download to your e-reader, PC, iOS, Android, or other mobile device. Plus, over 100,000 free ebooks are available through their partners, affiliates, and resources. Project Gutenberg carries high quality ebooks that were previously published by known publishers. They 
digitize and diligently proof them with the help of thousands of volunteers. Their ebooks are free in the US because their copyright has expired. However, they may not be copyright free in other countries. So, if you're super diligent, you'll be sure to double check with your local authorities before downloading. Well, now you should be all set to download some wickedly fascinating, romantically mysterious, or seriously informative ebooks. Check out our website for more info and we'll and uh, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks so much for watching Staples Tech TV. See you next time. <laughs>